What it do, what it do, my peeps? We are back with another video with easy top five most meta players in each position. We're gonna get past the BS, get down to business top five. We are not doing the most meta players in each position. If you wanna see that video, it is like about two videos back. Before we get into anything though, you always know where to go to acquire some of these insane cards. Wanna know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? Perfect. New card. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMO EXP. Link is down below. Top of the description. Use code META for 5% off. By the way, shout out to my guy Callum Overton for being the first person to comment on my latest video. He has been first for the past couple, like, I feel like 50 to 100 videos if I had to count, bro. He has been an absolute legend. So thank you so much for the support. Much appreciated, my guy. We are going to get right into it, man. If you want to get featured, though, you just comment first. We'll be the first to comment. I will give you a cheeky shout out right there, man. Appreciate all of you guys joining the Discord as well. And if you need a team urgently for foot champs, you can check out my uh, tipping page. It is the second link in the description. It is just basically you state your budget, your untradables if you have any, your console, and obviously your email so I can send you the actual teams. And we have all these people right there that have already uh, bought the teams. They were satisfied as well. So it's a good service. Service, you know what i mean like it's only three dollars minimum so i can make you the best options if that makes sense but yeah let's get into it man top five goalkeepers now this type of series is kind of like me getting past the bs getting down to business i try not to include icons the most sometimes i do though do you know what i mean like if there's no positions that fulfill that uh, role i think icons do obviously are meta most of them are um, there are some tried ones, will not lie, but uh, we will jump into the top five, man. It is the likes of Couture, Allison, and Testegen. Those are, I'd say, the most accessible right now. They're under 50k. I think uh, Couture is the most expensive, though. He's like, he's 75k. I think because of Fodder as well, increased a lot. But in terms of goalkeeper's perspective, man, like, it's all subjective, bro. I'll be honest, man. A lot of people has enjoyed Allison. A lot of people hated him. Same with Edison. You know, it's, at the end of the day, just use a keeper that uh, you like, that uh, obviously has very good reactions, very good, um, obviously handling and is at least tall to get to the long shots uh, the reflexes must be good in my opinion the best value the best bang for buck is probably allison in my opinion and then obviously we have the best valued one though i still included him that is mine and now you could argue that pope could be the best uh valued one still so yeah pope and mine and i think also a good value ones but i think the best bang for buck though is allison for 50k you don't need ever a goalkeeper like in the next two three months you'll just use him do you know what i mean and he links to van dyke Militao, do you know what I mean? Like the same meta players. So fair enough. We got the fullbacks right there. Now I said I'm not gonna include that much icons, but I think from a fullback perspective, you need to include these guys. They are so good, especially when people have coins. Like most people um, that use the MMO XP link have the coins that can acquire these type of cards. So check the link. <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but yeah, fair enough. Check Kefu, uh, Capita. We got Carlos as well. Very very nice, solid fullbacks right there. Uh, but I had to include obviously the big dogs that a lot of people use. Even pros like they don't use icons. Most of the pros don't use icons because they feel like you can rather just you know compensate more for the attack in terms of the coinage and just buy like cheaper very nice alternative uh, fullbacks like Hernandez like Mendy like the likes of your Walker insane right back right there very fast very physical has been meta since FIFA 14 no cap bro this Walker card has been every single FIFA he has always been a solid option for anyone's team even when he was 79 rated bro so fair enough he's a goat when it comes to right backs bro in FIFA so fair enough man we got Di Lorenzo a new one that just got added uh, as the obviously um, what's this thing called trailblazers very nice card what i like about him is his play styles and his overall uh, acceleration sprint speed do you know what i mean stamina as well and his agility and balance isn't that bad for someone that's six foot so you won't feel all that lanky just add a chem style maybe that boosts that if he feels a bit lanky but the best valued ones though by the way bombasta very good card versed a couple of times because people have a uh, um obviously within the uh what is it from the ultimate team hero pack so fair enough she's very good by the way she attacks very nicely she's a very good offensive slash defensive fullback and that's what you need you know someone that can at least have that offensive qualities so very, very nice quality uh, card right there got kachawi she's i could potentially say she's better than mendy in this game i actually struggle more against kachawi is it just me leave in the comments do you struggle more against kachawi or mendy i feel like for me kachawi is insane 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 so yeah we got the likes of the best valid ones grimaldo he's actually very good 
this year. Finally, not fodder. Uh, but yeah, he's very good, man. Even his gold card. Uh, I do think he's solid with his pace. And his overall, like, dribbling. Just the way he feels on the ball. I mean, and he even has decent shooting for a fullback. Do you know what I mean? We got Hector Bellerin right there, which is in SPCs. Under 30,000 coins and has the option to upgrade. He's definitely going to be there. Uh, a lot of people use him now, obviously, to link uh, certain, obviously, um, players from um la liga you know like your bellingham's your modric's road to the knockout etc but yeah we got the best center backs now top five this could potentially be a heated debate because top five center backs it was tough to choose i want to lie now you could argue that obviously maldini has to be in here but yeah overall i did want to include cards that are relevant that people can actually acquire uh you know but yeah uh, we got van dyke varan which in my opinion is the best center back partnership duo that you can ever do bro just spend that extra 300k trust me you will have that partnership till like i'd say january bro and it will still be decent because veron and van dyke are exceptional center backs now you will see that i did include the main man blanc why i included him as the best value is because if you can get him down i only include him as the best value if you can get him down to about 200k so you just got to get that 88 rated squad out the way and if you can do that with a fodder this card will be like about 250k and it is an exceptional card because if you look at his uh, card he has anticipate plus which exceptionally uh, increases the chance of obviously interceptions bro it's a very very nice chance creation right there for obviously interceptions you know tackles etc so i like that anticipate plus on him he's very nice uh use him actually the loan very very nice card bro i will not lie very nice stamina as well for a center back like come on bro i, I see actually a guy play him um they used him as a, a cam, which I didn't uh, understand, but he was a very, very nice, uh, like, box-to-box -box CM, if that makes sense. So, he's not bad, you know what I mean? Obviously, don't use him as a CM, but I do think, though, if there was a chance that he can play CDM, it wouldn't be too bad right there. Reactions, ball control, even wise is very nice. But um, rip to the 85 Blanc, bro. You know, he will be in our prayers, man. I remember that card, how good he was. Now, obviously, EA don't have the... Um, the lower versions of icons which is why we only get one version unfortunately because that 85 blanc was so good man every time people use him i hated him and we got uh mateo damian i do think he's best valued now obviously he was free fair enough cheers jeff but i do think he's very good man as a, a center back card i actually versed him a couple of times very good pace very very good sprint speed and if you add a chem style that even boosts the chances right there moppy leon why i included her as the best value now she's a bit increased now because of the um rating obviously people will say she's fodder she's not she has anticipate plus as well probably like a cheaper blanc she has finesse shot which is so weird i don't know how bro <laughs> it's just so weird like she's got 74 shooting for a center back do you know what i mean she's got intercept uh, intercept uh block jockey she has very good play styles for a center back and for under 50k it's very very nice i will not lie but yeah we're gonna move over to the my favorite position it is the cdms cms and cams now the best top five in my personal opinion now included an icon because there wasn't really cams that were good that were top five in my opinion so yeah obviously you got the likes of your your average dons you know uh mateus viera rulet zidane probably the best midfielders in the game consisting of a cdm which is like viera i'd say root hulet as well a cm mateus root hulet as well Zidane as well as the CM, and then the Cam, which is mainly Zidane. Uh, we got obviously Marquiso and Yadatori. I packed Marquiso and I must say, one of my favorite cards I've used. He's going up in price. Evidently, this card is so good. He's like, he's like the Bruyne with better agility. Same passing. He feels like the Bruyne's passing. He has the defensive qualities that the Bruyne doesn't have. He's literally a better De Bruyne. He's also like a better Goretzka, just a little bit uh, less like, how can I explain, stocky. So his body type is amazing. He's got a lean body type. Very, very nice card. And in my opinion, one of the better cards in this game when it comes to CM Bro Box Box. This card is phenomenal. I love his card. Yaya Tori, obviously, we all know he's good. He's double the price of Marquiso, evidently. Probably the top five best CDM in the game could you argue that yeah, ramirez is better i could argue that uh i think as a cdm even as a cm is better uh because it's just his overall play pace like look at his, his um play styles as well it's it's okay mid 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 but at 92 stamina as well obviously relentless it's ramirez boys he's gonna be amazing literally like how kante is when he was in his prime do you know what i mean in game we got the best valued which I did, I did include Mickey Tyre. Now look at this card, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I like doing these type of videos because you explore these type of cards. Incisive Plus. 
Now his passing will be phenomenal when it comes to like that trans creation, the overall like transitional aspects when it comes to like the CM qualities that he offers is amazing. Very nice pace, very, very nice dribbling, actually the best dribbling. Flair, finesse shot, Trivela. So if you play him, I think the best way to play him is either in a 4-3-2-1 as the offensive CM or in a 4-3-3 slash 4 as a cam because he'll be very nice man do you know what i mean get him on that free roam attack even in a 4-2-3-1 as just you know average um instructions very very nice and his stamina isn't all that bad right there so yeah and he's got five star weak foot which is just a phenomenal card bro in my opinion musiala everybody knows as a dribbler i love dribbling with uh, these type of cards because they've got the trickster it's such a nice card in game bro he is so good when he moves just the overall like ball control it's nice we got kone as well now you could argue i did not use him but I do think he's going to be phenomenal judging by his stats. Now, I did stat merchant myself through this one because, yeah, you, if you look at his stats, though, like, come on, bro. There's no way he's not good. Tiki Taka improves the chances of those nice, like, uh, passes, those quick one-twos um, and overall back hills and stuff. Like, he's just a fun card. Uh, I think as a CM, he's going to be phenomenal, man. I mean, look at his stats, bro. Like, I might take him over Kunya, bro, because I feel like even the links-wise, he'll be very nice. So it just depends, man. I feel like this card will actually be quite good two, three months in still. Do you know what I mean? Even as a super sub. So it's not a bad shout right there, man. But uh, yeah, overall, that is a top five. You already know, man. Your boy Bellingham, Alexa, Puteas, five star, five star. Incredible card. Valverde, come on, man. Who would have thought? We got the likes of the left wingers slash right wingers now. Evidently, these cards are fast. They've got the skills. Some doesn't have the weak foot, but they're still good in game. Like this Salah, his gold card absolutely destroys me every time I play him. Phenomenal, phenomenal card. Four star skills. As I said, three star weak foot, but he has the technical plus, bro. And then he obviously has the Travela. So even if you are on the opposite side, his Travelas will be amazing by holding LT on Xbox, L2 and PlayStation. So if you're on the opposite side, it doesn't really matter about his weak foot in my opinion because even if he is on his opposite like uh, foot he wouldn't use his weak foot he uses um obviously outside the foot on his stronger foot because of the travailer right there if it was travela plus though it would have been nice i can't lie does his normal card have travela plus actually uh sorry not travela plus a uh, finesse shot there we go yes finesse shot plus for his gold card you could argue that his gold card is just better value than obviously this one but the technical plus does actually improve it, bro, in terms of dribbling. Like, he's going to feel amazing, bro. Hansen, obviously, we all know. Alawiren, Jorginho, I included him as an icon, obviously. Dembele as well. We got, obviously, your your average dons right there. I think they're the best valued, like your Diani, your Saw. Don't really need to get to, through them. Like, if you play champs, you know how good they are. Same thing with Jeffinho now. He doesn't have the finishing, but oh my days. All you need for wingers, right? I've got Doku. He's got 72 finishing. He's a beast in my team. Probably my favorite card. All I do is I run on the wing, cut inside on the byline and pass. It's just how you have to play this game. It's so dead, but it works, bro. Especially with Jafinho with five star skills. You'll feel nice as well as Swanson. A lot of people enjoy her. They play her, Morgan and Trinity um, Rodman. I think that is what it's called. What she's called, sorry. But yeah, fair play to that right there. Very, very nice wingers. We got the best strikers. Now, straight up, you're looking at R9, Mbappe. Now, I know it isn't like, I don't know why I included them. I should have included other cards, but we already know this, the strikers. Like, most of us know the strikers, which I included here as the best valued ones, which a lot of people want to know rather. That's why I like do these videos because it also showcases the best valued um, and also showcases what's the best, best card for the price. Like, I think this Yungming Son now is one mil, right? If you can get him down to about how much he was initially, like 700k, good value. The best card you can buy money can buy as finesse shot plus he is getting a trailblazers right doesn't really matter because of the finesse shot plus that is such an op playstyle in the game is the best playstyle in the whole entire game straight up because when they are one on one all you got to do is just press rb on xbox r1 on playstation and uh, press b and shoot in, in it will 100% go in every time bro especially outside the box when you green time it's just phenomenal so for me Yung Ming Son is 100% in top five as of this moment bro he's insane very nice card the same thing goes with Rodrigo as well phenomenal card for 500k I do think he's actually quite decent value not gonna lie because you can actually get him down with fodder you can get him to 250 300k very nice play styles a solid solid striker and then obviously as i said the best valued it's just cards that irritate me in weekend league do you know what i mean uh, mostly that type of thing but yeah very very nice card this kunia card as well people has enjoyed him the longevity of him could 
could probably change objectively. Uh, Forster Forster is nice. He's got decent, decent stats like overall, bro. I do think that he will at least, if he had finesse shot or something along those lines, he's going to probably last until Tots, bro. Sorry, not Tots, team of the year. Very nice card, though. I do think people will use him till that time. But uh, yeah, overall, though, even as a super sub in that uh, month, I do think he will still do good. That is the best top five players in each position. Now, some players I maybe included that were too expensive. Some players that were too cheap. But it's, you know, for me, it's the best valued aspects that I like to, to give. You know what I mean? But yeah, for me, I'd say that the hardest player right now when it comes to, like, getting him in your team is probably Yung Ming Son, bro. That player of the month is insane. Alongside, like, maybe defensive side of things, maybe Blanc and or Van Dyke. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Hit that like, subscribe, tell me if you enjoyed this video. Check out the Discord, check out the socials as well. Uh, at MetaMike, if you on all socials. TikTok is booming as well. We hit 3,000 followers, finally, boys. Let's get to 10k, please, man, and let's get to 40k on subs. Will be much appreciated. Have a sick, sick week, boys. Spider-Man out soon as well. I keep on saying it. Literally one more day. Let's go. Hey.